Oh my gosh. That game, the Bills had it won. It was over. It was over. It was over. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 91 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. This channel is going to document every single day leading up to that amazing moment with the video. Yes, we are going to win the Super Bowl. Even after today's strange, bizarre, insane, wackadoodle loss to the Vikings. Guess I made a big mistake. I was live streaming from the stadium today with me and my kid having fun and... A company called TMG caught it, took it down, and they're limiting how I can stream. I tried to stream when I got home. I was streaming when I got home, and then I got knocked out again. But I have to get a video out every day. A lot of you saw that live stream from the stadium, and some of you popped out when I was, you know, chatting about the game. I have basically five points. What's bothering me about this loss? And... The number one thing is, of course, something we can't really do anything about, and that is Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer not in the lineup is gigantic. I mean, that, that is showing to be the biggest loss when it comes to injuries that we have. I mean, that is, it's just brutal. It's just brutal. The plays that teams are making downfield against us is evident that not having them in the lineup is huge. Number two, Josh Allen is playing hero ball. He's really good. He's a really good quarterback. But he's getting away from taking what the defense is giving him. He's now trying to extend plays a little too much and trying to really drill the ball into his wide receivers when he has no business throwing the ball. Obviously, he's been intercepted, what, three times now in the end zone or maybe five times over the last three, four games in the red zone. I mean, it's just, it's just not what we can have from a quarterback. Yes, he's Brett Farvish for sure. Brett Favre is a Hall of Famer and won a Super Bowl. But Josh Allen, I think, needs to scale back his elevated expectations of himself moving forward. So that, that's number two. Number three, the run game. People always bring up the run game. It's frustrating. We have the running backs and we have the offensive line to block. I think it's really the play calling on when it comes to the running game. Stop running it straight up the middle. They really need, I think, to... Run more off tackle. I just remember the days of Thurman Thomas taking, you know, the handoff and going off to the right or left end and having a guard pulling. We need some more of that. More creativity in the run game. We ran a draw play today. Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. It's like, holy cow. We ran a draw play. That's that's outstanding. So that, that's number three, the run game. Uh, number four, I would say, is probably our decision in personnel. I, I honestly think the should Kilio Shakir would be better in the lineup to get more snaps than Isaiah McKenzie. Not that Isaiah McKenzie got a ton of snaps today, but I don't think Isaiah McKenzie should get hardly any snaps at all. So that's, you know, that's debatable, but I think Khalil Shakir would probably be a better, better wide receiver, slot wide receiver than Isaiah McKenzie. You know, beyond that, one of the things that I'm frustrated with, and I guess this may be my fifth point, is... Tredavious White, why is he not playing? He's activated. If he's not good enough to play, then put him back in IR. I don't understand. So I'm not sure what the Bills are holding him out for. It seems to me that if you activate the guy, he must be ready to play. It's like Josh Allen. He was activated to play today, and he played. And he played, you know, overall pretty well, aside from... Those two interceptions and that fumble in the end zone. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That game, the Bills had it won. It was over. It was over. It was over. This team needs to, you know, really lock down their focus. They're blinking. They're blinking. That's what they're doing. They're blinking. And as a result, they're losing. Hopefully Von Miller steps up and makes a difference in that locker room because this is not championship football. We are now third in the AFC in seeding. Unbelievable. Lost the lead in the AFC East now. This is pathetic. Pathetic. All right. So that's that's it. That's my video for the day. Don't have much of a voice left. 
unbelievable. It was great going to the stadium. Loved live streaming it. Obviously, was not a good move. Hopefully, I can live stream the Cleveland game. Looking forward to doing that if I can. And hanging out with you guys. Don't lose hope. But, you know, I'm, this, I'm with you, man. Two losses in a row now against teams that we had beat. That's yeah, just, that's not boating well. But this is a second half team. Like the last two seasons, the Bills really kicked it in the gear the last half of the season. So hopefully that's what we're going to see this time around. And remember, we're the hunted. The teams are coming after us now. Was this a Super Bowl preview? Could have been. Vikings look decent. They look pretty good. Second half for sure. Love to know what you think. Comment below. And I'm sorry for those who jumped on the live streams and they were knocked down. Hopefully uh, I'll get that all squared away and we'll just keep rolling towards Arizona. Because this team is going to get there. We're going to get there. We just got to let this wash over us and get back to work. See you tomorrow.